Hi there, welcome to LearnClickView.com. In this tutorial, we'll go over a cross table in ClickView. The easiest way to see or understand cross table is to visit Gallup site. And as you know, Gallup's doing all kinds of surveys, uh, including political surveys. And um, I want to just show you this this uh, example that exists on their site right now. Um, as, as you see, uh, they have a cross table in action that shows um, two variables. Uh, one shows current issues that our government's facing, such as our scrutiny of uh, conservative groups and um, Benghazi hearings, and uh, the public sentiment about um, those those two issues. So. Uh, this kind of structure across tables is a very powerful way to depict uh, survey results, but um, they're, they're difficult to handle when it comes to click view. Since um, doing any kind of aggregation on this type of data structure is um, really, really difficult. Uh, I uh, dealt with that conundrum when a friend of mine um, asked me if he can bring Mannheim uh, consulting data and Mannheim's um, known for doing consulting uh, research uh, related to automotive and so he sells cars he buys and sells cars and he looks at this research and try to understand um, where the market's going so uh, right now, if you look at this table that I've downloaded from Menheim's site, uh, it's showing month, and um, it also is showing attribute uh, year attribute in a in a row fashion here, 95, 96, 97, so forth, and and it's 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 perfect for tabulation or you know cross tab representation representation of these two variables. However, if I bring this table into click view, uh, doing any kind of aggregation uh, on on the year column is going to be uh, a difficult task to achieve. So uh, the answer to this issue is to create a, a cross table in click view. So let's dive into it. We create cross table by doing a normal load, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna create cross table instead of just creating a regular load and I'll show you how we do that so we're gonna use this auto sales spreadsheet which is what I showed you just recently we're gonna use embedded um, header here and as you see now it's shown month and all this year is 95 96 so forth so for now we'll just leave it like that and go and um, it's important here to, to click this transformation um, just to see how, how it looks here, we're not going to do anything. Um, the, the, the important part now here is to click on the cross table. And uh, as you see here, it's showing me uh, the qualifier field of the month, which is fine. And the attribute is 1995, which is the, the first uh, column header. So this one, we're going to change it to year. And we'll leave rest as it is. So, what this will do is it'll create a, an additional column called year, and it'll show all the years in in that, uh, so that we can do aggregation in in uh, click view. So, as you see, it's now nicely displaying data that that would like to see in click view. We'll finish that. <coughs> And again, it's shown all the years, um, as uh, you you would have seen if uh, if even you didn't use cross table. But um, in addition, now you have cross table syntax at the top, and it shows year as as the column that we're going to create, and data is going to be the the numeric values. So I'm going to give it a name, and we can call it whatever we like call it car sales and and that's it now um, we also want to create a composite key of month and year 
but we cannot do that right now since column years has not been created or won't be created till the, the this table gets created so we'll have to wait till we create this table and then we'll use resident load to to create that composite um, column okay good enough so I'm gonna load this and that's nice so I I got three columns now uh, I have data month and year so that's great so instead of all this years 95 96 to 2012 now it's nicely showing me uh, the the year column that you can see here that's that's nice so all right so now I want to create a month year key and for that I'm going to use a resident load so and I'm going to say load Oops, sorry and then we're going to say Year. and month is your month and we're going to use resident load yes we'll use car sales so reload great now we got another column here and it shows each year in a month nice um, so the last thing we want to do is just drop um, the first table which we don't need anymore the draw table car sales reload again all right so in order to save time I already created um, few charts and I'll show you here uh, the, the important one is, is the top one, which we wanted to show here. Um, I created a calendar of the year, and um, uh, on the on the vertical axis, you see uh, the value index, uh, which is what Mannheim showing in each year. And, and now I can I can do analysis nicely with this. As you see, I can pick any number of years and, and see the trend which would have been difficult to do uh, if, if I did not create a cross table I had not created cross table here uh, since um, uh, doing this kind of analysis on on each year would 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 have been impossible um, uh, without a cross table in click view so I hope you liked it and uh, if so I uh, would request you to come back again to see more videos that I create them till then so long take care bye bye